at Closure Systems International, we are the industry leader in caps and closures, as well as after service support. We do about 60 billion units a year. If it's a plastic closure in North America, it's a high chance that it's a Closure Systems International closure. We have lines that produce 2,200 caps a minute. You want that line running 24 seven, but if an operator doesn't show up, you may have unplanned downtime. Automation for us was fixing a labor issue. Our two choices were more labor or automation. It seemed illogical to use more of the thing that was already the problem to try to fix the problem. The whole goal of the project was to try to eliminate the material handling functions throughout the facility. The challenge was the space, and the way that we went about it was to reduce the amount of equipment was to handle more cases at one time throughout every part of the process. The hardest part was the plant is fully utilized and very, very dense. And so there wasn't room to put a conveyor or anything like that to connect the dots. So the random case erector being able to erect four different styles of boxes has reduced our floor space need. We can make four times the boxes in basically a quarter of the space of what four machines would have been needed previously. The next challenge was tape detection. CSI required that all cases be taped properly. We used a LR mate with specialized sensors on the end of arm tooling that scanned the case in the four areas where the tape would be present to detect the tape. If the tape was not present, the case would be rejected and then it could be reintroduced later. After the tape detection, the next challenge was is stacking the product. So we have an M410 350 on a Goodall rail that can place product onto 34 different stack locations. Once the stack has been completed, they are transported to a dunnage cell where they are wrapped. The stacks needed to have a pallet underneath of them, so we used a M410-140 to place a pallet on a conveyor along with a slip sheet. The stack was placed on top of the pallet using a AGV, automatically guided vehicle, and then on top of that stack we would also place a tear sheet. With Fanuc Robotics, we were able to pick the right unit for the application, whether it's a small robot for the tape inspection, or the larger unit that's picking a full layer of product. Then the dunnage handling robot is a large unit, but with a different capacity. So that allows us to get a different price point to be able to be competitive. FANUC was actually a key decision point on why we picked MCRI. The reputation and experience of FANUC, their ability to service us locally and be available 24-7, their reputation preceded them. OE is our plant efficiency and 97.5% is the goal. And 2.5% downtime overall for the plant is the target. We were upwards of 10% downtime overall at the beginning stages of the project and now we're right at that 2.5% downtime efficiency mark. Currently, we've increased our productivity by approximately 30 million units a month in regards to the six month time frame that we've actually been fully engaged with the automation systems. In this plant, automation has resulted in about 25% increase in output. To put that in perspective, that's about a quarter of a billion closures and around 50 full trucks every month. We are now expanding and doubling that, so having to hire. Having the confidence that we can install new capacity and deliver on time and full for our customers is what you need to invest in a United States plant. If not, you might make the decision to invest elsewhere instead of here. And so having the automation and robotic system does give you a level of confidence that you'll be able to staff that line and deliver a product to your customer on time.